Hello and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend from Martin Lynch and Sons. I'm Tony and this is Jonathan. Hello. Right, this week we'll be going through sort of top 10 products uh, which have taken our eye this week. Yes. Um, and what really did take my eye? I've not seen it before. What, what, literally? Yeah, li literally. It took my eye. I said, oh, why don't we start doing these? Okay. Which Henry said uh, four minutes ago. Yeah, the <laughs> very, very new product. Okay. Um, I wanted to use it as a bit of a clickbaity title, really, to be honest you with you, Jonathan. Mm. Yeah. We can still. Well, we still could. So basically, keep lots because we're about to bungee. Here we are. Hey! There we go. We're not we're not jumping very far, are we? <laughs> no. So this is it. This is the new Mydell bungee. Small bit of bungee cord here, with a board on the end, as you can see. I'm going to have to show it up to the camera now. You are. Hey, you you so, chose that side. I know. So there we go. So very plain and simple. Very stretchy. There we go. So I'm going to give this to you to demonstrate, Jonathan, because I, I believe you've got another one of our favourite products. Another one of our favourite products, which is, of course, the DX Commander Poles. Of course, we've worked with Callum now at uh, DX Commander for a couple of years now. And we stock the entire range of the poles. We've got the 10 metre classic, which is this one right here. We've got the 7 metre um, light version, which is that one there. And we've also got the travel edition as well, the 10 metre travel, which we haven't actually got one. No, it's gone on. away at the moment. So, so it's travelling. It's travelling. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we've got the, the range in stock. Um, but um, quite simply, and I'm, I'm going to do this, and then through the magic of editing, I'm going to have to do it again. Okay. Right. So well, that's fine. Uh, exactly. So I'm going to move that one over there. So quite simply, with the bungee, you can. I'm, I'm going to use the front of this cabinet. Would you here. like me to hold out? You're you going to show that you can be done one. Oh, you can be done one-handed. One hand. Yeah. yeah okay. You just do that, and you pull that round, and quite simply, it's done. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Nice. That's very, very sturdy, actually. Could use two of them. Yeah, make it's it even very sturdy. sturdy. I mean, obviously, out in the field, you'd use it on maybe mm. like a, a, a wooden post on a fence or. Um, a lamp post that'd be quite good. Strap yeah, I mean post. it's ideal, especially with the staycations that are happening nowadays. Um, literally, as you said, maybe stand on a farm, mm. find a picket fence, and uh, pop it up, and away you go. Get operating with uh, obviously your favourite the seven hundred five. With a seven hundred five, or your favourite eight one seven eight one eight. Eight one seven eight one eight. Straight, I'm a little bit old school like that. Yeah, you are. I am. Yeah, you are. I mean, you're like still running PSK 31, aren't you? No, I'm not, but I do like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest with you, I have been doing a bit of FT8 lately. Yeah. Getting to grips with it. Um, we have got a new product coming soon. I'll say new product, more of a package that's yes, coming out very way. soon. Uh, we're just getting Jonathan to do the hard work, basically, um, and then we're going to play with it for a while. Is that? But normally how it's it goes. normally about right, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> but you enjoy it. So I do. It's always a good thing. I enjoy making things work. So yeah, with the bungees, um, I do believe they come in a pack of five. They do. So there we go. There's only four in there. Obviously. Yeah, we've got one out. Got one out. So these are retail wise, I think, a four ninety five for five of these. That's which. That's dirt cheap. It is very cheap. I'm, I am going to have to get myself a pack. You are. I know. <laughs> <laughs> And if it goes well, if we can sell more than 10 packs of these, yeah. we'll give you one. That's what I need. So push, yeah. get, the JFC, <laughs> get the JFC working on this one. Get the JFC working. Right, right. bungees, let's get that out of the way. Um, no Tony, what's up next? Right, um, we've been receiving a lot of emails from guys who have bought uh, 7300s, mm. uh, 9700s as well. Yeah. And a lot of them asking, uh, I'm looking for a microphone. Mm. Not ideally a desk microphone because obviously the SM30 is available. Yeah. But more of a kind of a whole hand mic. I suppose hand you call yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So we have got in stock now the Icom ICM BGs. Excellent. So this is this is just the black and gold version of the ever popular ICM. Which it is. For yeah. A long number time. of years. Yeah. Um, I think this would look if you've got a seven eight fifty one with that black and gold no 7850 with the black and gold oh, 78, yeah. that would look yeah. amazing would so look all we're saying is nick this is for you <laughs> uh, uh so we haven't seen nick for a while i haven't while, seen actually. nick for a while i haven't seen nick for a while. talking of customers we haven't seen for a while but i did speak to you the other day yeah uh, let's say hello to john and Anne as well so uh, hi to john tet i know you're watching and uh we will find a way of getting an antenna up for you somehow there is a way he's got a bit of a neighbor issue oh, okay uh, we will find a way, whether it be a loop or uh, there'll be, be a solution. There'll be a solution. So uh, hang in there, we'll get you back on air. So that's very nice. It's very nice, that isn't is it? Very nice. nice. So it comes complete with the additional uh, K 
connecting cables, oh, so straight into the radio. Straight into the radio, and you can put a PTT switch and into a PTT, it as well. as you can see there. And switch as well, yeah. which... Um, no, it's yeah. a nice soft It's a non-latching yeah. switch. It is a non-latching switch, so you're probably going to want to go to the... Uh, well, that is very nice actually at the top of that. It looks it? really nice with, with the, the gold, especially against that sort of matte black finish it's got. It is. Let's see it with a presenter style it's kind presenter of it. Just style. to see how that looks on your John Fenn TV. <laughs> we can start using that next week. Yeah, yeah we'll just use this instead. Yeah, that perfect, you do yeah. look, yeah, you see I that. Look, I, look, you I look proper. Anyway, <laughs> back to business. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, as I said, non latching switch on that. So, what you'll probably need is either going to be a hand switch or a foot switch. Yeah. So, it just so happens. Ah, here we go. Have one of each here. So let me just move this across. There is not one I've prepared earlier. Not one you've prepared earlier. We've, no. This is not one we've prepared earlier all the way here. So nice and simple with these. Mm. Hand switch, as and. it is basically. And we can get this out. So sure. should I get the foot switch? Yeah, you take. We could save a bit of time actually okay, and, yeah, and do it that go. way. So, have you used any of these yourself, a foot switch or a hand I've switch? I've used a foot got switch. Preference? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm much for foot yeah, switch. Yeah, I'm keen on the foot switch as well. Well, that does remind me. Going back to the old school way of doing things, it reminds mm. me of uh, my mum's sewing machine back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very much. So. It does, doesn't it? It it's does. The same, yeah. Especially when you, you um, when you got your mum's sewing machine when you were a kid. Do you know what, I'm and, really and you're, struggling again. You're struggling I've got this out. thing about boxes and not been able to open them, haven't I? <laughs> I, think this is, hand. I think it's going to be bee stock by the end of it, this one. <laughs> so, uh, so like you've mauled the box. I've mauled the box, probably. Okay. Yeah. Don't tell Martin, please. <laughs> yes. No worries, I was going to say, well, when you were a kid, you had a sewing machine, you'd, sew, you'd sewn your sleeve in. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Uh, to be honest, I only did sewing at school. I didn't. Like, oh. I didn't do it as a home hobby. Are you letting us into a secret here? No, my mum didn't have a sewing machine. When oh, I was a kid. Okay. My nan did though. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a bit concerned now. Are you going to let us into a little secret about your home hobbies? No, no, not at all. No, not at all. Mom's There's nothing wrong with it. I'll no, be no, no, no. My mum's mom, yeah. mom a good knitter. Is she? Yeah, really good knitter. Do you mean I could have got that gear stick cover from your mum? She would have probably knitted it for you if you'd given her the plans. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm uh, how are you doing with that? I'm doing all right. I'm in. I'm go. in. I'm in. It's unleashed. So here we go. This is the trigger switch or the hand switch, I like to call it. So nice and simple click in action, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, perfect if you if you don't want to use a foot it's, switch, if you don't no. have an idea of it. And you know, the good thing about this, you can still drink. You can, you still, can, still, have, have, oh. you can still have a. Swift half or a cup of tea whilst you're on a, an 80 metres having a bit of a chin wag. Excellent. Talking about on 80 mm -hmm. metres having a bit of a chin wag, foot switch, more sort of a contest style. And what's nice about this one is, is you hear that, it's got two switches. That's because, it, unlike any other foot switch in the world, this has got two cables going off it. One designed to go into the uh, the rig, so via the, uh, the headset cable. The second designed to go into the back of the amplifier. And that one, that one triggers ever so slightly before the other. Just that's clever, isn't that it? That is clever. And we do the FS3 version as well. So yes, which is just a single. The, yeah, which is the single one, which I was going to bring down, but it was a bit of a higher shelf. We'd be scared of ladders. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would have had to get the ladder out. Yeah, don't do that. Okay. Okay, that. Right, so there's your whole switches. Obviously, these are available to use with the headsets as well. Yes, absolutely. So uh, we do have uh, ProSat ICs back in stock. We do. And I do believe we've got Proset 7s, which I just ah, so happened to have one Pro here. Sevens. Now, for those that spotted the uh, deliberate mistake there, Go on. I mentioned that we had these for the Proset 7. But you don't need one for a Proset 7. Exactly, seven. because it does come it with does a PTT with hand switch already built in. So that's ready to go. Okay. And uh, I will get those open because they're, I mean, they're, they're kind of based on a, a race style headset yeah, really it, aren't it, they it, or, or uh, sort of, uh, yeah, well, I, do you know what I nearly said there it's Dave Clark but I nearly said Arnold Clark <laughs> so there's a little advert for Arnold Clark yeah, Arnold Clark <laughs> no, no, that's, that, that, that's John going on about cars all the time <laughs> if you're selling your car yeah <laughs> John has a budget we know what it is and uh, he is looking for a, for a new car so uh, if you are, you are selling a car he wants quite good MPG doesn't he he wants quite good MPG but he, but he wants a massive car <laughs> 
So if you can help, I do believe that there is a finder's fee involved. But yes, yeah. In fact, yeah. Uh, no, don't get in touch with John. No, with get us. Get in touch with one of us. Yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously. We'll do the work around. So uh, whole process seven, communications headsets. Yes. Uh, as I said, kind of a Dave Clark style where it's over the year and it's a hard case. Yeah. So we've got outside hard shell case. So we've got two uh, additional uh, air pads, the smaller profile ones. Uh, this is um, a dynamic one in, in the lovely blue color. I like this blue color. It's very nice, it's nice actually. Yeah. Yeah. Show it up there. It's uh, really nice and um, it's not so um, in your face blue. It's quite a subtle no. blue. It's quite nice. No. Uh, also, as you say, comes with the um, uh, PTT. He says, oh, stand up, stand up, there you go. Uh, PTT in the, um, in the package as well, so that's quite nice. You can clip that on as well. Of course, you can use either the, the HS2 or the FS2 or the FS3 as well. Um, the uh, the earpack covers, and you get two cables as well. I'm not going to get them out, but you get two cables, one straight, one's curly. One's curly, yep. Uh, we also do the IC variant of these as well. So again, if you're running an Icon radio, comes with the ad one dash i Eight, yes. I believe, yeah. Cable, so the eight-pin round cable, which goes straight into your ICOM. And again, if you do have a whole headset already and you've changed radios or you're looking to upgrade, uh, we do cover the full range. Yes. Of cables. Yeah, absolutely. So, yep. We've got really them all, all available, uh, all in stock. And um, I mean, I run a Hale headset with my seventy three hundred. Um, they just work. They, yeah. they just yeah. work. They just yeah. work. I use exactly. the the smaller version. Yes, yeah. So I use the micro version. We do have those in stock as well for the icons. So they're quite nice. So if you're out in the field, nice light headset. Yeah. I will say it's a really noisy environment. They do struggle a little bit because you've not got covered ears, but you know, perfect for if you just exactly. quick up holiday yeah. up holiday up, and also the the, um, the little um, uh, handheld ones as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the little icon one. H T H H T H. Yeah, they work really well. Um, the icon one also mm. works on seven hundred five. There you go. So if you're out and about and you want yeah, that. Come on. Yeah, there you go. insider information now. There you go. You see, you can't escape, you can't escape a video of me and me not mention the 705. That is true. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to mention it every single video that you're ever going to do since the release of the 705. <laughs> I think we're so pretty much there. We're getting there. We are getting there. If we slip up one week, do, let us know. Point, it out, point it out for a prize. So, should I wait for you? Or I'm just, well, I'm just putting sure? this away. Yeah. It's only a small item. I could fit it on the table as well. Yeah, just go for it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm nearly done here. I was, I was just going back in. And then now this is one I don't know enough about, I'll be honest with you, Jonathan. And I'm okay. sure you don't know a whole I'm, I'm not the heap of information these. about this because this is normally Steve's favourite. It is Steve's favourite. Hi, Steve, if you're watching at home, by the way. Hope you're doing all right. So this one is the Sark 110. So I'll bet there for you. So as you can see in the picture, it's a small handheld vector antenna analyzer. Yes. So I will remove this from the box because it is fairly small. So you'll probably want. You can use a knife. Do you know what? I won't open it. Can you use a knife? And it will be B stock. Yeah. So I, I won't open this one. But basically, as you can see in the picture, we we'll go back over here. It's literally kind of credit card size. Mm. It's in, about the size of a credit card. It's got yeah. a nice color screen on it. Uh, it comes with a little uh, pigtail adapter. I think it has an SO239 mm. on the end of it from memory. Um, and if you want a relatively inexpensive, portable, easy to, to carry with you. It's, yeah, uh, one thing I will say, if you've not got great eyesight, it's probably not the one to go for. I'd go for something like a Metro VNA, for example. Oh, yeah. Larger screen, mm -hmm. nice bright colours. Yeah. So it, it is fairly small, but if you know if you're out in the field, as you said, I mean the great thing is I think it does Smith charts on these as well, which is amazing for something it's so small. Yeah. Yeah. Stick it on the PC. Yeah. You, and away you go. Off you go. It's a, a fantastic product. Uh, we've been doing them for ages, mm. um, ever since I started. I think they've yeah. been around. So yeah, they've been around a long time. Definitely a nice one. And there's the new version, the ULM version as well. There is. You're an so that's yeah, also worth a look at on the website. Yep, no problem. So I'll move this away. Move that away. What's next? What would you like next? I think, can we go for an SWR meter? We can do. I think so. That's what we need. So Here's straight, what we need earlier. straight to the Mydale. Yes. Hello, Mr. Mydale. Hope you're doing well. Hello, boss. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Basically the boss, man. <laughs> okay, so uh, SWR006, been out of stock for forever basically oh. all for, throughout lockdown i think uh, yeah i don't i days. think we ran out of them about sort of the second day of lockdown and yeah. that was about it yeah 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 so back into stock good thing about these hf coverage and also two meters and 70 cents as standard yes so if you're looking for one meter put in the shack 
perfect, absolutely perfect That's for perfect. it. So, do you want me to pop it out? Or? Uh, yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah, why not? It's, it's, it looks very similar to, to most other single needle um, SWR meters on the, on the market. Um, these nice backlight as well, so it's got a, a DC cable in. There's no uh, PEP or anything like that on it. It's a fairly simple uh, SWR power meter at the end of the day. It does exactly what he says, says on the tin. Uh, on one sensor, it does 1.8 uh, to 160 megs. On the other sensor, it's 140 megs to 525 megs. And t I was trying to pad that out just, in the hope that it's totally just very tight it fit. It's just box. very tight fitting. It's very tight fitting, honestly. He's there. Very He's tight there. fitting. I'm not going to take it from the package because that'd be another show. I mean, another show taking <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, just to get it out of the bag. So yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so. SWR006, uh, power rating on these 200 watts, I believe. I believe so. That's so uh, handy for most of the transceivers which are available straight off the shelf and yeah. running barefoot. So no problems there. Or, you know, even if you've got a, a DX5000, for example, or a whatever. Yeah, 5000, 101MP, TS990. Yeah, all, all going to be absolutely fine with this. And on the back of these, it's not really going to show very well, is it? But the only thing that does upset me a little bit with these, I'll be honest with you, Jonathan, mm -hmm. is, as they can see, is their SO239 on both. It would be nice if it was n -type. It would be nice, but, you know, for the, the price point that these are at, you're probably asking a little bit is much, really, for tough. Yes, yeah, acceptable, definitely. It, if Diamond can put an SO239 on a B2000. That's very true. Yeah, there we go. Uh, final products, I think. Final products. Well, we've got two final products. Go on, what's your, what's your Just first? Just to be observant of you there. First final product. Which we oh, should have really fitted in during the headphone section. We should. And that is the headphone stands are back in stock again. Uh, hey! These are got to be the quickest selling item that we have. So as soon as they come in, they're, they're, they're literally flying out the door straight again. So as used by the governor himself, as used by a couple of the sales guys here as well to put their headsets on. Yeah. I don't like to see the headsets on these. We don't like mine? No, because it means the phones aren't ringing enough. That's true. So if I see your headset on there, I know you're <laughs> <laughs> not working hard enough. <laughs> I see. So as we said, these are back in stock, um, really reasonably priced. If someone wants to buy you a gift, you don't want another pair of socks, etc. Yeah, it's, good. it's a good shout. It's basically just go for one of these. Yeah. You, know. you can never have enough headphone stands. You can never. I'm sure there's other uses. You could use these for patch cables as well. You could, yeah. Hang, hang patch cables yeah. over, your DC cables. So, yeah, yeah, it's a good product. I mean, I'd like to see if you do own one of these and you use it for another purpose apart from headphones. headphones Show us your headphones. Within stands. reason, please, <laughs> please send us a picture of your headphone stand, and we'll we put something in the post, won't we? Yeah. Is there any freebies left? Or have I might have a pen. A pen or something. It might. It might still have some okay. ink in it. <laughs> there you go. Right, so we're moving on to the last product. The final, final product. The final product for now. Anyway. The second final product. The second final product. I'm not sure about you, Tony. I can't do CW to save my life. Can you not? I try. I can send very well. I okay. can't receive. We had a comment that your product knowledge was very good. Thanks. So you're going to test me on MFJ464? That was it, Lirid. I just wanted to know if you knew what it was, and now I know why you knew what it was, because they've, they've labelled it on both sides, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that didn't really work, did it? That didn't really work. So points to you for being smart on that Thanks. occasion. 100%. 100% for that one. I just felt it. When your, your hand just touches on, you think, that, that's a sticker. <laughs> that's a sticker. So anyway, onto this MFJ464. Now, I don't believe we've ever shown this item. I don't think we have one. Not on video, no. Joys of wearing black on camera. Yeah, everything's going to show up. And the joys of polystyrene. So, I won't, again, not enough time for me to take this out of the bag. So, I will show it on the camera. So, this is the MFJ CW Kia Stroke Reader. Yes. Now, I've used one of these. Yeah. Okay, now my CW isn't horrendous. Your, yours is far better than mine. On receive. See, between us, we make a really we, we good CW be, We could be immense, couldn't we? <laughs> we could be immense. So, <laughs> so basically, um, well, I'm just rubbish. I think it's, uh, there's no polite way of putting it. Is When it comes to sending CW, I'm not very good. Um, I'm a child of the 70s. Yeah. So obviously, I've grown up with computers. Keyboards. Keyboards. This is natural to me. That, not not that, so. That's not natural. Well, for a crab, maybe. But for me, that's not natural. <laughs> 
Um, so I use a keyboard to send CW. I don't know if I'm ashamed to say that or if I'm just modern. Truthful. Truthful. Um, so this I can connect to a separate keyboard. MFJ do do a keyboard. Um, most keyboards will fit. It's just finding the right connection for it. So quick Amazon search, you'll find one yep. for under ten pounds, basically. Yeah, sure. um, good thing with this, if like yourself, you're not very good on the receive side of CW, is it does actually read. What I need. So, whilst you're learning, whilst well, you're while I'm improving my receive. improving your receive capabilities. Yeah. You can double check and just make sure that you're right, because obviously you wouldn't rely on this hundred percent. No. No. W you, you would you? No, of course not. Would you? I would. <laughs> uh, ideally, <laughs> ideally, we don't we don't want to promote people not learning CW properly of because it's I'll be honest, I've got a few in the log and I don't even think they're countries. You know, we just kind of think I'm sure no, that's got to be right. I, Maybe it's a special event station. I I did work the um, UK forces base on Cyprus. Okay. On CW, but uh, C. Oh, see something don't for, ask is it? Prefix. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. It was it was the little mini D expedition that the Camhams did okay. a couple of years ago. <laughs> and and I was told what frequency they were on, what their call sign was and how it sounded it in I was gonna say, did they send you a little, a little snippet <laughs> yeah, of it? Yeah, this is how much. it sounds. Pretty like, much. But at least you went on there and you uh, tried, that's I the main tried, thing. Yeah. I, and I worked them. <laughs> All I need to know was my call sign in five NN and it was perfect. Done. There uh, we go. I reckon you cheated with an eight five seven. No, I didn't actually. Oh, did? No. Icom? 7300. 7300. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there you go. So anyway, if you are learning CW, even if you're you know, a long-term CW operator, these are ideal. As I said, my, my friend uses one of these, hence yeah. why I've used one. Um, he does 35, 40 words a minute, no problem, receives, sends on the key. But he still uses one with a keyboard because he just says after a while the pile-up gets a little bit intense. Yeah. And plus, you know, he's from a country where Hi, Ernie, if you're watching. It's from a country where you might want a nice glass of wine at the same oh. time. <laughs> um, any other news that you've got to share with the, the guys? I girl? don't think so. No? no. no. It's, uh, we're, we're ticking along here. It's, uh, everything's getting out the door in quite a timely fashion, which is very nice to see. Uh, obviously, we're still delivering into, into Europe as well. So if you're one of our European customers on the continent and within the EU, and you're a bit nervous about buying from us now that that There's, big thing yeah. happened at New Year, can we be in the enough, Brexit? Near enough forgotten about. Exactly. Near enough forgotten about already. It's like buying from anywhere else in the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll say with regards to shipping, yep. in and out. I don't know why, because obviously of what you just said, so it's probably for another reason, but stuff is just a little bit delayed. <laughs> Things are delayed. Yeah, it's coming but it's, in. Main, it's coming in. It's just down, down to the fact there's there's less aircraft. Mm -hmm. uh, space on the ships is limited at the moment. Yeah. Um, but we are getting stuff in, and I've got to say congratulations, and a mm. very big congratulations to all of you that ordered a... Oh, what are you going to go with? Diamond. Oh, BB7V. BB7V. <laughs> So congratulations to those who have ordered your BB7B. I believe they finally arrived. They and I, today they should have them, actually. Today, today uh, I think we yeah, today they... Today. Yeah, we shipped yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So we shipped yesterday. So your back order that's now been on back order. I know one guy that was, I think, eight months or so. Quite possibly, Eight yeah. or nine months. Yeah, so congratulations. I really do hope you enjoy the antenna. Um, it's been a long wait, basically. It, it has been a long thanks wait. Thanks for sticking with us for it. And, I, and, and here's the thing, is that if you want one, we don't have any left. So get your order in. Yeah, yeah. Get your order get, in. Get your order in for maybe, what, September? October, maybe? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah that would be the way. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's phenomenal. But as we said, we are. It's, it's just proof that we are working towards getting the items into stock for you. Yeah. Um, and it's just it's a little bit of patience, really. It's, you know, we want to select you as quickly as possible. That's our job. It is. It is. Uh, and we're amateurs as well, and we want to be using the stuff. So it's it's yeah. the same. Um, anyway, next week, hopefully, we're going to be doing some sort of uh, specials and focusing on maybe one or two items, especially. Uh, more details will follow during the week with that. Excellent. Uh, we can do that. Uh, live broadcast on Saturday, i.e. tomorrow when this video goes yeah. out, which will be me. Excellent. What can we look forward to? I have no idea. Excellent. No idea whatsoever. Normal Saturday for me, um, where I'll get a spare sort of half an hour and 
have a wander oh, around the shop yeah and see what people have sort of suggested on the phones during the day and yeah go through that and we will go through the used equipment yeah uh there are delays in the workshop just so you're aware at the moment so repairs i believe are maybe four to five weeks uh lead time so please bear that in mind warranty work is obviously being done a bit quicker yes yeah uh, used equipment we're trying to turn it around as quick as possible quarantine is still in effect quarantine is still happening so that's mm -hmm. that's delaying things as well but yeah used is trickling through yeah we're, you and know, it's it's we've gone through it before last year there's you know just yeah. bear with us and, and you know that we will get back up to speed again at some point um we do have a new engineer starting very soon and we will try and get him on camera once he comes i suppose yes yeah, so there'll be a little bit of wait for that. Hello, Bogdan, if you're watching. Yeah, we're just trying to find some shipping room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, hi, Bogdan, and looking forward to you joining the team here. Um, again, anything you need, anything you require, please speak to the team. Obviously, if I'm not here, Jonathan's always around, especially on the weekends, vice versa. Yeah. So, you've been given, I believe you've been given a magic pen every now and then that you can use for a special price so, sometimes yeah it, it's only got a limited amount of ink in it like. that's true yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's martin comes in in the morning and just it just you know, drains yeah. it yeah I normally, either that or i normally find just scribbles on my pad where he's trying to wear it out <laughs> <laughs> so anyway anyway hi to the governor hope you're feeling better and uh, no doubt he's going to pop in i would have thought of the weekend oh that's weird come and say hello so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon yeah definitely bye-bye take care